Hello, everybody. Good day to you guys. Um, I just want to make a quick video because my secondary air injection pump went out on my Mercedes 2006 ML350 with the V6 uh, 3.5 engine. And I just want to make a quick demo on how to remove the old part and... Um, as well as if you know how to remove it then you just take the same steps back to put it back in the new one so this is the new part that we got we went with the Bosch I know it's the more pricier one but it seems like uh, everybody's giving it better reviews um, about the old part the there's a there's a total of five bolts that you need to remove in order to uh, get take this off of course, I already removed the air box up here. I'm not going to show that. If you're willing to do this, it's because you know how to remove the air box. So I'm not even going to worry about that. Um, then, of course, got to get this hose out of the way. And I'm using a T30 Torx to remove these bolts. And we got one right here. So we remove that one. The other one is down there. And get some light in there there you go that's the other one so one two and then you got three four five this one's gonna be the trickier one to remove I believe uh, I removed this one before because I tried to uh, uh, fix it that didn't work but anyway the, that's what we're doing dealing with I'm gonna go ahead and remove those uh, remaining three bolts and uh, I'll check back with you in just a little bit, okay? All right, people. So I guess I lied to you guys a little bit. All right, everybody. So I guess I lied to you guys a little bit. The trigger one is going to be the one at the very bottom. See, those two came out just fine. I'm not going to let go of the wrench because I have a pretty tight in there. But this one is the one that was a little hardest because you have to... Uh, lay on the belt a little bit to be able to get in there without stripping the bolt and You have to apply good pressure to it of course Otherwise, you're gonna strip that bolt and you don't want to do that So I'm gonna stop recording now get the last one and I'll be right back again Okay, everybody we got the last bolt out and this is really hot, but we're gonna try to get it out anyway um, You're gonna have to remove these hoses. You're gonna have to remove it um, man, I really need my hands for that. One second, okay? Again. Okay, so again, you need to remove this hose right here, and it's just an air hose, so nothing's going to come out of there when you remove it. I suggest you remove it from here, because this is the hardest part. Uh, this part is attached, so you can easily pull it out. Uh, this one's already been removed. The Hi. tap back here... You want to be real careful with it because since this is so hot all the time and it's brittle, I already broke one of the tabs as you can see. Luckily, I still have the other one, but just want to be real careful with those tabs before you remove it and pull it out. This hose down here, same thing. Um, I'd rather you remove it from the bottom, from the uh, from this valve right here. So you pop it out with a screwdriver or something, just pop it out like that. It's going to pop out. And now we can go ahead and take our part out. Man, this is hot. Okay, we got it out. We gotta get that hose through there. And that's it. There we go. We got the part out. We are going to remove it from the bracket. Uh, you don't want to remove the bracket from um, before you take it out. So you, now that it's out, of course you're gonna take off those two hoses because they're gonna go on the on the new part and um, take those remaining three bolts out here while you're out. Um, this is going to be the easy part now. I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll show you how it looks like once I'm done with it. Okay, people? Friends, so we got the new part in. Um, should I just remove the old one? This is the old one right here. Put the caps in here. I don't know why. It's not like I'm going to use it again. Or maybe if, this, if it turns out that this is not the problem, I can reuse it or maybe resell it. I don't know. Um, there is only one way to put the bracket in. It's not going to fit any other way. 
Now the tricky part, another tricky part, not the tricky part, another tricky part is going to be to get it aligned because there's these lines right here that you really got, got to watch out for. Got to watch out for these lines. By the way, these are the bolts. You got three long ones and two short ones. The short ones go in this other bracket right here. One, two. The long ones go in here, here, and down there. Okay? That's where your long ones are going to go. I suggest you put in this ones first because those are going to be the easiest ones to get aligned. And once you got that aligned, you can go in for the harder one, which is down there. Once everything's aligned in place, you can go with the harder one. There's no point on going with the hard one first and then the other ones. But um, anyway, let's go ahead and put it in there. Again, watch out for these lines when, you, when you're squishing it through there. Um, I don't think they're going to break. I took the old, like I said, I took the, the old one out once and put the bracket right in between here. Nothing broke. They're fine. See, it seems like they didn't even rub or anything. Um, so let's go ahead and put it in there. So we worked in, sorry about that, all of the, all of the bolts. Um, I spent about 10 minutes working that one in slowly because that was the hardest one to get in and of course the hardest one to get out that that particular one right there and that's because this, because this belt is on the way and i didn't want to take it off because you don't really need to it's just going to be a little bit more hassle but you can still do it without it i already tightened that bolt all the other ones i just got them tight um i just i just i just did them by hand i haven't really tightened any one of them um but I'm going to do that now. I'm going to go ahead and get them all tightened. Uh, I don't know the specifications, so I'm just going to go with my hand. And I'm going to check on a, on a few days after it's been running. Um, I'm going to check in a few days how... And look at that. Oh, shoot. I just lost my, my bit. I'll get it. Anyway, see that? This is loose already. What the hell? I'm going to get that tightened a little bit more. Oh, man, you just got to be real careful, be patient, and not try to film and do other things at the same time. That's why I'm not really showing you guys all the work that I've been putting into this. Um, but you just got to be real patient. Take your time with your bolts. You don't want to strip any of, any of those threads either in the bolt or where it's going into. That's the last thing you want to do. Um, get them all aligned, put them in by hand. Once they go in slowly by hand and that you know the thread is right, Go ahead and go ahead uh go ahead and get them tightened um but that's it people um i gotta put in those little hoses i dropped it there it is gotta put in the hose um gotta put in the big hose i'll show you in a little bit how it's done how it came out okay and then put everything back together except the front cover we don't have that one on yet we got all the connections put in there this hose right here let's let me check everything's connected the way it's supposed to be yes that looks good all the bolts are in place one two three four five five bolts are all are tight by the way this one was not loose see it's got movement anyway it's got a little bit of slack and it's got those bushings right there so see that so don't worry too much about it. This one's not loose. It's actually pretty tight with this part right here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and clear the code and run it. And hopefully the code doesn't come back on. Okay. So that's it, basically. Um, if the part is the one that was damaged, the code is going to clear up and that should do it. If not, I'm going to have to figure out what else it is. But that's how you change the secondary air pump um, if it's broken. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Um, if you like this video, please consider subscribing right here. Got a few more how-to-do videos on this vehicle around here. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.